Hi friends, welcome back to Happy at Home. If you're new here, I'm Angie Happy Liu, and today I wanna to talk to you about a type of intermittent fasting called the 5-2 diet or the fast diet that can help you successfully lose a lot of weight if you stick with it. It has helped me to lose five of the most stubborn pounds of my life, like couldn't keep it off no matter what I ate or didn't eat or how much I exercised, and it has helped so many of my clients lose up to 30 pounds. What's great about this diet is it actually allows you to eat while fasting. Yes, that's right. This is a fasting diet, and it comes with all of the benefits of fasting and more, but you can eat while fasting. I know that might sound crazy, but I'm gonna share with you all of the benefits and just how simple it is to do in a minute. In today's video, I'll be covering exactly what the 5-2 diet is, what you can and cannot eat on this diet, the pros and cons of the diet, which also includes how fasting can reverse your age, sign me up please, and my very own personal experience and results being on this diet for several years now. I'm also gonna share how the 5-2 diet compares to other types of intermittent fasting and why as a fitness professional and functional nutrition coach, this is my favorite type of fasting over any other type of intermittent fasting. Water fasting aside, because if you've seen my water fast video, you know how huge of a fan I am of that. And finally, to answer your number one question on your mind, how much weight you can actually lose and how quickly you can lose it. But I wanna give you a quick disclaimer here. My approach is not always about losing weight and the fastest weight loss hacks or techniques. Weight loss is just one of the benefits of this particular diet. But what's amazing about it is not only do you lose weight, but it checks off so many other boxes when it comes to maintaining your youth and vitality aside from just weight loss. And personally for me, weight loss and maintaining your weight loss is only one aspect of preserving your youth and vitality, which is truly my mission when it comes to working with clients and here on this channel. So without further ado, let's talk about this amazing 5-2 diet. Be sure to stick around until the end because I'll be answering some frequently asked questions regarding the diet. Okay, here's how it works. For five days, you eat normally, within reason, of course. And then for two days, you restrict your calorie intake to just 500 to 600 calories per day. 500 calories for women and 600 calories for men. It might sound tough, but think of it as a way to train your body to burn fat and improve your metabolic health. Keep your eyes on the prize, friends. Long-term gains or losses, if we're talking solely about weight loss here, not just short-term results. Have you ever tried a diet where you have to eat the same boring meals every day? Or worse, count every single calorie that goes into your mouth, it's like trying to do a math test every time you eat. And that's where the 5-2 diet comes in, and let me tell you, it is a game changer. With the 5-2 diet, you get to eat your favorite foods for five days a week, which means you can still indulge in your favorite snacks, pizzas, and ice creams without feeling guilty. And then your taste buds take a mini vacation for two days. So for two days a week, you get to give your body a break from digesting all that food and go on a fasting adventure. And no, it's not as scary as it sounds. You'll still get to enjoy some light meals or snacks and your body will thank you for the break. The roots of the 5-2 diet can be traced back to research on the health benefits of calorie restriction. Studies on animals have shown that calorie restriction can increase lifespan and reduce the risk of age-related diseases. This has led to interest in developing a similar diet for humans that would be more feasible and easier to follow than traditional calorie restriction. The 5-2 diet was popularized by Dr. Dr. Michael Mosley and Mimi Spencer in their book, The Fast Diet. In the book, they explain the science behind the diet and how it can promote weight loss, improve metabolic health, and reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. One way the 5-2 diet works is by inducing a state of ketosis where the body burns fat for energy instead of glucose. Your body may go into ketosis after just 12 hours of not eating, which many people do overnight before they break their fast with a morning meal. This can lead to weight loss and improve insulin sensitivity, which can help regulate blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of diabetes. So how do people survive on just 500 to 600 calories? Easy. You choose 500 to 600 of the smartest calories you can so you can sustain your energy levels throughout the day. I'll be covering what you can and cannot eat on your fasting days next. What can I eat or not eat on this diet. First, let's talk about what you can eat on your fast days. Okay, I know we talked about how canning calories can be so annoying, but you'll just have to keep track of your caloric intake for just two days. I recommend being diligent about this. Use a log. I like to use an app called Lose It, and I've linked it in the description below. And once you get familiarized with the calories in the foods you choose to eat, you can start to eyeball it a little bit more, but keeping it as close to the 500 to 600 calories will help you get results faster. Are all calories fair game on my fast days? The answer is no. And this is just my opinion, and 
and definitely what's recommended by the authors of the book, but you really want to be smart about the precious 500 to 600 calories you choose to eat on your fasting days. I really believe that choosing the right foods will determine your ability to succeed on this diet without feeling super deprived and depleted because again, we are aiming to find something that can possibly be a long-term lifestyle change, right? Okay, so here's an example of two smart meals which equal 500 calories versus some random choices that equal 500 calories, but you may faint or not even make it to the end of the day with it. Here's some examples of smart meals that you could have on your fast days that are around 500 calories. For breakfast, you could have a cup of overnight oats with almond milk, four walnuts, half a tablespoon of chia seeds and flax seeds, a quarter cup of blueberries, and two tablespoons of sliced banana. And for a snack, you could have one large boiled egg, half a green apple, and five almonds. And that would bring you to a total of 501 calories. And for lunch, you could have three ounces of an oven roasted chicken leg with two cups of salad greens, a quarter of an avocado, one hard boiled egg, two tablespoons of olive oil and lemon dressing. And then for a drink, you could have six ounces of a matcha oat milk latte with two strawberries and also four walnuts. And that would bring you to a total of 518 calories. But let's say you decided to have a single serving of a strawberry banana kale almond milk smoothie. That total calorie count is 300. And then one cup of freshly squeezed orange juice, that can equal 111 calories. And just five fluid ounces of a glass of red wine, that would bring your total to 125 calories. So if you just decided to have all of these drinks in one given fast day, that would bring you to 536 calories, leaving you very, very hungry. So to answer the question about what you can or cannot eat on your fasting days, well, as you've seen, the choice is yours. But to increase the likelihood that you'll stick to it and actually enjoy the process, please choose more nutrient-dense foods, lean proteins, tons of veggies, and try not to consume empty calorie drinks. And remember, on the other five days, you can eat pretty much whatever you want, but what's interesting is inadvertently, this diet will lead you to make healthier choices overall even on your non-fast days. And of course, every once in a while, you can still indulge and never have to feel guilty about it, which is why I love it so much. So what are the pros of the 5-2 diet? Okay, there are so many health benefits to this diet that I will just go over the top few with an emphasis on how it can reverse your age, which is my favorite part. Number one, there's weight loss. The diet involves calorie restriction for two days per week, which can lead to weight loss over time. Say bye-bye to belly fat. <laughs> The 5-2 method can specifically target stubborn belly fat, helping you achieve a slimmer waistline. And number two, there's improved insulin sensitivity, which can help lower the risk of type 2 diabetes. Number three, the 5-2 diet may help reduce chronic inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which are risk factors for many chronic diseases, including cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Intermittent fasting has also been shown to reduce the levels of insulin growth factor one, or IGF-1, in the body. High levels of IGF-1 have been linked to an increased risk of cancer, so reducing IGF-1 levels through intermittent fasting may help prevent cancer. You can check your IGF-1 levels before and after you start fasting, a pretty pricey blood work add-on, but definitely worth noting. The thing is, if you just go back to eating the same after a short-term fast, your levels can spike back up, but if you continue to practice 5-2, you can keep your levels more balanced. Number four, long-term sustainability. The 5-2 diet is easier to sustain long-term more than extreme forms of fasting, making it a feasible lifestyle change for many people. You get to indulge in your favorite foods for five days a week and fast for two days a week, making it easier to stick to the diet long-term. And trust me on this, because everyone at my workplace, including myself, we have been practicing it for over five years now. Number five, there is no gym membership required. Unlike other weight loss methods, you don't need to spend hours at the gym to see results. Although if you wanna see even faster results, pairing your fasting practice with exercises like HIIT and strength training can really help you get there. I have a great cardio HIIT Pilates workout that you can add into your weekly routine that you can do for either 10, 20, or 30 minutes at a time, so be sure to check it out. And number six, what are the anti-aging effects? Please tell me more. One potential mechanism by which the 5-2 diet may reverse aging is through its effects on cellular repair mechanisms. During periods of fasting, the body initiates a process called autophagy, which is the process of breaking breaking down and recycling damaged or dysfunctional cellular components. This can help prevent the buildup of damaged molecules and promote cellular health, potentially slowing down the aging process. And number seven, 
Let's talk about longevity and how intermittent fasting and the 5-2 diet in particular can help to regenerate your stem cells. Imagine your body is like a factory that produces new cells every single day. These cells are like little workers keeping everything running smoothly from repairing damaged tissues to fighting off infection. But over time, these cells can get tired and worn out, like an old machine that needs a tune-up. And that's where stem cells come in. Stem cells are like the maintenance crew that keeps your factory running smoothly. They have the power to transform into any other type of cell your body needs, from muscle cells to skin cells to blood cells. The problem is, as we age, our stem cells become less efficient at repairing and regenerating our tissues. And that's where the 5-2 diet and intermittent fasting come in. Studies have shown that intermittent fasting can stimulate the regeneration of stem cells in the body. This means that your maintenance crew can work harder and faster to repair any damage and keep your factory running smoothly. The benefits of stem cell regeneration can be seen in many different areas of the body. For example, it can help improve muscle mass and strength, boost brain function and memory, and even improve the appearance of your skin. Sign me up again! So by practicing the 5-2 diet and intermittent fasting, you can help your stem cells stay in tip-top shape and keep your body running smoothly for years to come. Okay, what are the cons of the 5-2 diet? Number one, some days, especially in the beginning, you can feel super hungry. Fasting can be tough, especially if you're used to snacking throughout the day. But with time, your body adapts and hunger pains become less intense. And if you choose the right foods to eat on your fasting days, you can sustain your energy levels for longer. Number two, be aware of the hangry monster. Going too long without food can lead to low blood sugar levels, which can cause headaches, dizziness, and fatigue. Some people may experience mood swings or irritability during fasting periods, but it's usually temporary, and over time, you can experience a boost in your mood and energy levels. You also totally get used to it, and there's such a stark difference between knowing that you're on a fast day and accepting it, versus skipping meals and wanting to bite someone's head off because of it. Mind over matter, friends. And number three, no more midnight snacking. You'll need to be disciplined and stick to the fasting plan even when temptation strikes. I've never been a snacker, so I don't really have a problem with this, but I understand it can be for others. Solution, keep your snacks and any late night tempters at bay on your fasting days and know that tomorrow you'll be enjoying it again. No biggie, right? Number four, feeling tired early. Okay, depending on when you choose to cut off your last meal on a fast day, you may feel more tired than usual. And if that happens, just listen to your body and try and go to bed early on fast days. That's what I do. Okay, so how much weight can you lose and how long will it take? Most people will lose about one to two pounds a week, but this will be mostly fat loss and not just water weight. Expect to lose anywhere between 10 to 14 pounds in about 10 weeks, depending on these three things. Number one, how long you fast before and after your fast days. This might sound confusing, so to put it simply, if your fast day is a Monday, and you fast for 16, 18, or 24 hours before you eat your 500 to 600 calorie meal or meals, you will be burning fat for longer than just a 12 hour fast the night before. Do what's most sustainable for you, but I like to eat my last meal around 6 p.m. the night before a fast day, and I usually wait about 18 hours before I have my next meal, which will consist of anywhere between 300 to 500 calories, depending on whether I choose to break up the calories into more than one meal. Number two, how much you refeed yourself on non-fast days. Remember, you're supposed to be eating normally, not binging and going crazy, trying to make up for all of the lost calories from the fast days prior. Number three, if you decide to add an additional fast day to your regimen to speed up results. For example, I had a client lose 30 pounds in three months by fasting three days a week instead of two. So how does it compare to other types of intermittent fasting? In general, the weight loss with the 5-2 diet may be slower compared to more restrictive diets that require more calorie restriction. However, this slower weight loss may also lead to better long-term weight management because the 5-2 diet is generally more sustainable and easier to stick to in the long run. From my experience, doing the 16-8 method daily can be even slower at seeing results and may not lead you to make healthier choices in the long run on non-fast days since you're not regularly practicing it on fasting days like the 5-2 diet promotes. Alternate day fasting as well as complete fasting for 24 hours, which means no food at all on given days of the week, can be pretty extreme, leaving you feeling hungry and miserable. But with the 5-2 diet, you're only restricting calories for two days a week, which to me is a way more sustainable way to practice than other diets or fasting methods. You're not depriving yourself of anything completely, so you're less likely to give up and binge on junk food. And because you're only fasting for two days a week, it's just easier to stick to the plan long term. 
term. Okay, so here's my story. I've pretty much covered all of the key points of why I think the 5-2 diet is truly my favorite type of intermittent fasting and also something that I've been practicing for years now. I started out trying the method which led me to lose five of the most stubborn pounds of my life and really helped me to develop so many healthy habits and ways to shop, cook, and eat smarter overall. I never fret about extra pounds gained during the holidays or on vacay because I know I just need to go back to my 5-2 regimen to lose any unwanted excess pounds. I am usually maintaining my weight by fasting just once a week and when I have weeks where I skip for some reason, my body literally is craving to be without food. I am so serious about this. I can feel it thanking me for giving it that break from eating. My fasting practice has led me to regularly enjoy it and also water fast one to two times a year, which I beyond love doing. I would recommend this diet to anyone wanting to not only lose stubborn pounds, but looking for ways to really accelerate and maintain their youth, health, and vitality for life. Fasting has truly changed my life for the better and I could not recommend it more, especially since it's not hard to do at all. Okay, so here are some of my recommendations. Number one, choose two non-consecutive days where you know you won't be too tempted like a Monday and a Thursday. Leave out weekends, outings, and holidays to increase your likelihood of sticking to the fasting plan. Number two, meal prep for success. Having your meals mapped out can really help you be prepared for your fast days, and if you're okay with it, maybe select from a fast menu that you can create to narrow down the choices and keep it simple. I'll be sharing tons of 500 calorie recipes, so be sure to stay tuned for these. Number three, use a log for counting calories on your fasting days to optimize your results in the shortest amount of time possible. Number four, over the years, I have found that eating two meals or at least one meal and a snack can help sustain me longer throughout the day versus one huge meal. Number five, Listen to your body, and if you're not feeling well, maybe hormonal, emotional, whatever it may be, it's okay to break the fast and just start over again on another day. Seriously, it's more important to be flexible and succeed long-term than be super rigid and give up on it altogether. And number six, once you reach your weight loss goal, if that is your goal, maintain with just fasting one day a week. If you have a holiday or travel gain, just revert back to the two fast days until you reach your comfortable, healthy weight again. Will you lose muscle mass? While it's true that you may lose some muscle mass on any calorie restricted diet, including the 5-2 diet, focusing on high quality protein sources can help minimize muscle loss. That's why it's so important to follow a balanced, nutrient dense diet and incorporate strength training exercises to help preserve and build muscle mass while following the 5-2 diet. Do you stop losing weight at the same rate? meaning will it still be as effective over time? It's possible that weight loss may slow down or plateau over time on the 5-2 diet, as with any weight loss program. This is because as you lose weight, your body may require fewer calories to maintain your new weight. However, incorporating regular exercise and adjusting your calorie intake can help break through the plateaus and continue to promote weight loss. It's also important to note that weight loss results can vary depending on a variety of factors such as your starting weight, age, gender, and level of physical activity. So while some people may experience rapid weight loss on the 5-2 diet, others may lose weight more slowly. I mean, I've seen from my experience that if you fall off the wagon for too long, it can take even longer for you to lose the weight at the same rate than the first time around. But again, this can be due to a slew of factors and not just because your body won't respond positively to calorie restriction. It's important, therefore, to focus on sustainable, healthy habits rather than just rapid weight loss and listen to your body's cues and adjust your approach as needed. Okay, who shouldn't do the 5-2 diet? While the 5-2 diet can be safe and effective for many people, it may not be suitable for everyone. Here are some groups of people who should not do the 5-2 diet without consulting a doctor first. Number one, pregnant or breastfeeding women. Two, people with a history of eating disorders. Three, if you have diabetes or other medical conditions that require regular food intake, four, children and adolescents, obvious, and five, elderly people with nutritional deficiencies or health problems. Remember, it's important to talk to your doctor before starting any new diet or exercise program, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or concerns. Your doctor can help you determine if the 5-2 diet is safe and appropriate for you. Can I work out on fast days? Most definitely, but I recommend exercising early in the day or in the morning so that you can make sure you have enough energy to efficiently get through your workout. As I mentioned before, you can 
can get tired early, so planning a workout or tennis match in the evening may not be the best idea. Light exercise is generally safe on fasting days, but it's important to listen to your body again and not overdo it. It's also important to stay hydrated and fuel your body with nutrient-dense foods, as I mentioned before, to support your physical activity. And how long should I be on the fast diet? Well, if I haven't made it clear enough, I would say for life. It's really the most feasible, sustainable, and easy way to keep excess weight up and one of the best ways, in my personal opinion, to really maintain your youth and longevity for life. So happy fasting, friends. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.